All right, welcome back. Real Closer, welcome back, Gustavo, back to Power Hour. Every Monday, we bring you some value, some content. Most of the time, we talk about paid ways to get traffic into your database. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about social media and how to get organically, you're pushing your brand organically, right? And we talked about TikTok, we talked about Facebook, Instagram. Uh, but one of the things that we haven't touched on is Facebook Reels, right? Anybody here? Pushing Facebook Reels, any success with Facebook Reels, drop them in the comments, but that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. Gustavo, uh, so what type of success are you seeing right now with, with Reels, Facebook? Because most, most, most of the time people talk about when they hear Reels, they, they just associate that word with, with Instagram, right? Or yeah. shorts with TikTok. So yeah, what, what, what about Facebook that it should attract real estate agents right now? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, and we're talking about this. You know, we just talked about TikTok recently, and it's all this short form video. Okay, short form video taking over. Whether you're talking about Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Reddit, if you use Reddit, they're all coming up with their version of TikTok videos, right? They're all trying to compete. They all want that attention. So there are all of these apps, and probably with Twitter too. Maybe I don't know. There's all these apps that have a social media aspect to them. Even YouTube, YouTube isn't a social media platform. Sorry, it isn't a social media network, right? It's not a social media network. It's like a publication media network. <clears throat> and it has a version of TikTok videos as well, right? Now, I guess I'll talk about that one later. But right now we're focusing on the one about Facebook. And, and I wanna talk about that one specifically, Roberto, because I've had a lot of success on that one. I feel I have. I haven't gone viral like 2 million views. I don't wanna exaggerate, but I've been trying all these different platforms. YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, uh, TikTok videos. I've uh, LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn has another. It doesn't have a, a, a TikTok version per se. It does have a media section as well. And out of all these platforms, all these platforms, the one that I've had the most success with right off the bat, a lot of organic reach, a lot of good comments, a lot of people, you know, interacting with them. By far, by far, has been Facebook Reels. By far, people sharing, commenting, liking. I'm publishing the exact same video across the different platforms. Let me change the subtitle. I use the native platform subtitles. I don't know if that's good or bad. Who knows? I'm using it. I use the native platform titles. When you can put a little title in the video, I use that native to each app. But the clip is the same. I'm not going to lie. I do the exact same clip across different platforms. Maybe that's smart. Maybe it's not. I want to see what I could do by doing that because that is much, much more efficient for me to do. The way I handle these, right, similar to TikTok, I take my long-form content and I chop it up into some of these sound bites, right? That's what's been working for me. And the organic reach I've been able to get on Facebook Reels, I can't match it anywhere else. Not Instagram Reels, because I do them differently. I do them separately. Not Instagram Reels, not TikTok videos and not uh, YouTube shorts. There's just much more attention. And again, I'm not my 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 profile on Facebook is not any old profile. I have a professional profile. I'm a digital creator within Facebook. So that maybe helps, maybe it doesn't. Because if you don't have that, do it. Google it. How to create a professional profile uh, within Facebook. You know, it's it's an option. I didn't even remember I did it because I saw someone recommend doing it. I'm like, oh, I really should do that. And I already had it. So, okay, I must have done this months ago or years ago. Uh, you know, I just did it. And it allows you to have more followers. It tries to promote your content. It gives you monetization options for some of your content. So it's, you know, it's a few tips and tricks there. And I ha I always max out my friends. That's what I've been doing that consistently at least since 2020, 2019 timeframe. I've been maxing out my Facebook friends. It took me several months to do that. Right, you have to focus on that because most people have a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. You have to be intentional, or you're a really popular person. You have to be really intentional about maximizing your Facebook friends about five thousand, even for a professional profile. If you want to go past five thousand, you can have followers. People can follow you on on Facebook now, right? And I'm not sure if you need the professional profile for that, but. I've got, you know, 5,000 friends and 6,000 followers uh, within Facebook. So uh, I would, if you don't have a lot of friends, I would add 10, 15, 20 people a day, baby steps, right? Baby steps to create that, that audience, that following within Facebook. And the platform wants you to do this, okay? This is not that hard. They don't want you to add 100 people a day. They will stop you from doing that. But they want you to add 10, 15, 20 people a day. They do want you to do that. And they'll suggest people. The platform literally suggests 
hey, you know this person? Because I mean, a lot of people you know know them. Maybe you know them, right? So it'll suggest people for you to join. So I would recommend those two things, maximizing your friends count and making sure you convert your profile to a professional profile. Why? Because every agent should consider themselves a content creator. Every agent should do that. Every agent. I don't care if you're a, the, the typical 60-year-old member of NAR, which I published. This was a piece of content I published everywhere on all these platforms. I said, hey, the, the, this, this summary, this like infographic came out from NAR. And they go, the typical member of NAR is 60 years old. Uh, you know, I think, I think they're female. And they've been in the bit and they close as many transactions a year, right? So I thought that was interesting. I don't care if you're a 60 year old female member of NAR. You're, you are a content creator. You should view yourself that way, right? And content creation is just a fancy way, in my opinion, of saying, you know, educating uh, our clients, right? Creating content to educate them. It, it's part of our job. You're a fiduciary to this client, it's your job to advise them to the best of your ability. To, to, you know, within within the norms, don't, don't go outside your area of knowledge, right? Let's be honest. But uh, that's your job, educating them. Content creation is another way to do that. Don't get lost in the, am I, a, am I a conscious creative? Am I a content creator? If you don't like the terms, don't use them, right? Educate your clients, provide value to your clients. And another way to do that is to go live within Facebook, is to publish information on Facebook and to create these reels. Okay, create Facebook Reels. That is just a way that I found that is very easy. And once you get in the habit of creating this short form video, Roberto, you can create them anywhere. Pop out your phone and create these videos. Now, I have a team helping me make these. So we publish a lot. I, I get it. But to publish one a day, two a day, you just need your cell phone. Pop it out, create it right there. All the tools you need are already on the platform and just rock and roll and do it, okay? You wanna be a little bit more efficient, you can record it on your camera and then upload it to Reels and then or maybe to TikTok and to the rest. We'll be a little bit more efficient with that. But anytime you have an idea or you have a nice home you wanna show or you've got an issue that happened with a deal, a transaction, a problem, a big win, uh, uh, an issue you helped resolve, a bidding war you won, a bidding war you lost, all of these things are great ideas for content because you're educating and teaching with that. An inspection report came back good. An inspection report came back bad. All these things. And, and a quick parenthesis, because Roberto, I've seen some people get in trouble with these things recently. I saw some content out there. So I want to say this. Uh, you should anonymize these things. Okay? You should. If you, if you don't have permission from the person sending you the email, sending you the document, showing the home, you don't have permission to show the home don't make, you have to make it anonymous. Okay. Number one, number two, if you don't want to make it anonymous, get permission to share this stuff. Come on. It's very easy to do. You can text them. You can email them. I always get in writing or to be honest with you, get permission in writing to share the house, the address, promote the house, get permission to promote the house on social media and put it on TikTok, put it on social, put it on reels. I think it's fine, but I've seen a lot of people more, more than ever, right? People complaining about getting called out for that. And people complaining about seeing their listings on social media without their permission. So I've seen both ends of the spectrum and I empathize with both. Anonymize it. You probably don't need to ask for, probably don't need to ask for permission. What, what, do, what do I know? I think you don't. But if you don't anonymize it, you better be having permission from whoever's marketing has exclusive right to market that listing uh, to put it up there. Okay. So that's what I would say. But that being said, all of these are great ideas. All of these are great ideas, especially the anonymous content. You don't have to put someone's name and address on something uh, to make the an interesting anecdote, an interesting story, right? Because we have a huge advantage, Roberto, over so many other industries. Everyone loves talking about real estate. Everyone loves talking about real estate. About Is the market going up? Is the market going down? Is the market staying flat? What are some great examples of that? What, what's the market doing right now? You can be the economist of choice of your clients. This is what Gary Keller is saying right now, by the way. Not just me. It's a much smarter guy than I am. Gary Keller from K-Dub is saying, you should be the economist of choice by showing people what's actually happening in your market. Not the headlines, not the national trends, the local trends. What's actually going on on the ground. And I think Reels is a great way to do it. Record a video, can be less than a minute. It prefers it to be less than a minute. And just go for it. The only platform right now that I know 
that is actively promoting you to do longer form content is actually TikTok, ironically, right? So TikTok is always ahead of the curve. A lot of these other platforms, they just want the short form content. Less than a minute is preferable. You can do, you can do longer than that, but they really promote and, and, and viralize content that is less than a minute. So that's my recommendation. That's my personal experience with Facebook Reels because on TikTok, we're just talking about this. Um, I'm, I'm getting videos, I'm getting good interactions, but my videos stay at about two to 300 views, right? And I, it's really hard to go to kind of get past that within TikTok, right? I'm, I'm probably gonna have to change the content up a little bit, do something different to try and get more attention. But on Facebook, I've been publishing the exact same content and it consistently gets four to five times the attention. 500 to 1,000 views consistently. And then a few videos that are 2,000, 5,000, et cetera, right? So um, on Facebook Reels, it's just been a huge opportunity for me. And I've been getting a lot more interactions. So it's not just publishing and views. It's people sharing, commenting, and liking. Much more people are doing that. And here's another nugget you should do, right? Another nugget you can do. You don't just publish Reels on your personal profile, right? That's the obvious way to do it, for sure. There's stories and there's reels, right? The other way you can do it is in a Facebook group, okay? You publish something educational, informative, interesting. You can go to your favorite Facebook groups that have a lot of engagement and you can publish the reel there, right? People that are not your friends can see it very easily. You don't need to go viral. We just talked about this too, right, Roberto? You don't need to go viral to be successful with this media. You just need that those 100 views, those 500 views, those 1,000 views, they have to be in front of your target audience. That's all you need. That's the most important part, okay? So don't lose sight of that. And I think publishing uh, uh, YouTube, sorry, Facebook Reels within Facebook groups, as long as you have permission to do that and they don't like remove them, uh, then I would go for it 100%, right? And each Facebook group has their rules, that they're, that, what, the kind of content they want to see. That's fine. Adapt your content to that. It's worth it. I think it's worth it because the more you add value and educate the consumer, it, every reel you record shouldn't end with, hey, and give me a call for all your real estate needs. Don't do that, right? People don't want to see that. Those aren't, these aren't commercials. Be native to the platform. People use reels to, for entertainment. They use these pieces of content for entertainment. Your content should be entertaining, entertaining, okay? To really match up with the platform. So put your head down, crack out that cell phone, right? And make some of these content because Facebook Reels, in my experience, it is much easier to get more views and more attention on it right now. We'll see what happens six months from now, a year from now. But for the kind of content I'm making, which is business-related content, educational content, I found Facebook Reels to be much more successful. And one mistake you shouldn't be making right now is don't wait till it's perfect. Because if you're waiting oh. for that moment to be perfect, you're never going to get it done. You have to just start pushing content. And I think we talked about this, right? Like out of this meeting that we're having today with Gustavo, we're going to cut it up and we're going to start posting little pieces into, into, into short form video. You Love can it. do the same, get together with another agent, with another realtor, uh, have them ask you questions, answer. When you answer, talk to the camera, cut those up. And that's your content. You don't have to get, you know, if you're already good at talking about real estate, you should be good to go when it's time to create video content. So just go for it. Just do it. Don't wait till it's perfect. Otherwise, you're never going to get started. That's the first step. Exactly. Start. That's a great way to never start. That's a great way to never start. Just, just crank out the phone and do it. As you as you mature in your content creation, you, your process can do more than that, for sure, for sure. I recommend people just get on there, right? Get on there, publish something, uh, be yourself, right? It just not, not because that's some brilliant media strategy. It just makes it much easier for you to keep publishing, okay? If you have to put on this persona and the perfect lighting and the makeup and everything, and everything it's just much more, much less likely you're ever going to create anything, my opinion, right? So I'm one of those guys that goes, you know what? Create the content, make it interesting, make it valuable. And the production value, the camera, the lights, I'm like, I, I don't think it matters with these kinds of platforms. I don't think it matters. You can make the argument that maybe for YouTube, like long form, okay, maybe, right? Maybe. But even then I go, I'd rather go with interesting topics, interesting content, even shut off your cell phone 
than uninteresting, unoriginal content with amazing production values. It doesn't matter, right? Go, focus on what, I, find your voice, find those interesting topics people are interested in, because I promise you they'll forgive uh, some, some not great editing, they'll forgive some not perfect lighting if what you're saying is somewhat interesting, okay? Absolutely, absolutely. And if you're killing it with, with any of these platforms, comment, comment below, let us know what's working, what's not working for you, what type of content, Comment with your Instagram handle, with your Facebook handle, let so that everybody can kind of jump in and see what you're doing. All right, guys. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you again next week. Have a good one. Thanks.